Well, we're going to be shooting Remington cartridge conversions. Uh, these were guns of the 19th century where they took Remington New Model Army cap and ball revolvers and converted them for those newfangled metallic cartridges. Uh, they, they had to make a few changes, and it's kind of interesting. The guns still retain the very sleek, long, good looks of the percussion cap and ball guns, but now they have the convenience of cartridges. Uh, our gun is from Taylors and Company. We're testing today. It's in 4440, which was not an authentic caliber uh, for these guns at the time. They were in 44 Remington caliber, which uh, certainly does not exist anymore, uh, which is why folks make them in 4440 and 45 Colt, that sort of thing. The gun's made by Uberti in Italy, imported by Taylors. Uh, just one of the fine guns that they import, but there there are a few things that are not historically accurate about the gun, and uh, we're going to be showing you that in just a second. This pistol is a custom-made cartridge conversion by Kenny Howell of uh, Howell's Old West Conversions, and it is an exact replica of the Remington New Model Army cartridge conversion. And as you can see, it has a very thin plate, conversion plate, behind the cylinder. The firing pin is built into the hammer, uh, carved out of the old hammer, actually, and there is no loading gate whatsoever. And that's the way the originals looked. Uh, now let's take a look at the Taylor's gun, and we'll point out a few of the discrepancies from the original. So as you can see, this is the Taylor's gun, and there are a few differences from a historical Remington conversion. Uh, first of all, you'll notice the firing pin uh, is not on the hammer. The hammer looks just like the percussion gun, and in fact the firing pin is spring-loaded into the conversion plate. And the conversion plate itself is much thicker than you would have seen on the original guns, uh, and it has a loading gate. And loading gates were not on New Model Army conversions, though they were on the Navy 36 caliber to 38 rimfire conversions. So in, in a way this is a mix of, of the two guns. So you wouldn't call it a museum quality replica, but certainly it gives you a very good, uh, a very good feel for the, what the conversions were actually like, and it's very much in the spirit of them. So I think this is a good gun, and it's absolutely fun to shoot. And that's what we're going to do next. So let's go to the range. Hey, Bellevue. I'm Buck Powder Editor from Guns of the Old West Magazine. And today we're going to be shooting Taylor's cartridge conversion for Remington's new model. This, uh, this is a loading gate conversion. Look through here, you know, you can see it. And we're going to start off by shooting it with black powder. Smoke this, so let's make a little smoke. These guns are a little bit quirky to eject, and uh, I'm going to show you a little trick because it's easy to lock up the cylinder while you're ejecting them. In fact, I'll probably do that even when I show you this. First, you put the gun on half cock. You have to drop the loading lever and turn the ejector out. Now, what I do at that point is I lock the loading lever up again, otherwise it tends to drop right back here into the cylinder. There's a little lever here, just kick the bullets out into your hands, it's slow, but you know what, compared to loading cap and ball, this was a marvel when it came out, but it's, it's no wonder that that process was improved along the way. Now we've been shooting uh, the Taylor's New Model Army Remington conversion with uh, black powder up until now, but uh, like all modern made conversions, this 
is a fully functional handgun that will shoot smokeless powder with no problem at all. It's made of modern steels, modern production techniques. So we're going to shoot some, uh, some smokeless powder with it and I'll just show you how it does. We've been shooting today on the Evil Roy target system from Action Targets. This is a steel plate target. It's on a highly portable stand. As you can see, it's angled down so that uh, bullets break up and head down into the ground. Makes it very safe. A uh, great reactive target to use.